Hello everybody, Hamster Gaming here and welcome back to another live stream. Today, we are going to be watching the Splatoon 3 news. The brand new news that we have received for good old Splatoon 3. So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Without further ado, let's get started. Three, two, one, here we go. I've been very waiting for this. I'm very happy about Splatoon 3 coming less than a month to release. Seen enormous growth in recent years. It's also the hottest new place for inklings looking for things to do. Oh, hello everyone. Hope you're all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. We're the researchers from the Squid Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in kit form and smoothly swim through it in swim form. We've been studying their biology. What's up, Destructive? How you been? I've been very much awaiting for Splatoon 3. I'm very excited for it. I've already got it pre ordered. You're good. Of course, what goes for the Inklings also applies to the Octolings. We're sure of it. First, Turf War. I did watch this already. I watched yes, it off camera whenever I woke up today. And get inking with even fresh so, awards. you won't get my full reaction to it, but you'll still get a pretty hyped up reaction because I have been meaning to rewatch this a few times already. Two teams of four will ink for three minutes. The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf. Oh wins. god almighty. Hello you two. Now, that's not all inking is for. Ink walls to swim up. Splatoon is a very, very and it shut up and it. <laughs> Splatoon is a very fun game. In regards to Splatoon, this is mostly explaining much of what you have to do, but fixing the time both of y'all out. Like the squid surge to swim up walls in a single burst. Okay. And the squid roll to jump out. Don't test me, Emmett. Ink while simultaneously turning around have also been spotted. Oh, while it's glowing like this, the move also slightly repels ink from opponents. Now, when it says repels ink, I don't know if that means it blocks ink from damage if you get shot during the roll. I'll have to find that out once I play the once I play the world premiere beta on August 27th. Ain't type of spam that goes in my chat, I will time out. So don't test me, people. That goes for you too, Emmett. Even though you're mod, I will time you out. Hagglefish Market. A pier filled to the bream with street vendors. The stuff here looks fishy, though. Several stages from Greater Inkopolis also return. Museum Delfonsino. Battles here take place I'm in the fixing to time out both of them. Seriously, don't test me. Take special note of the rotating wall. Museum de Alfonso. I've been very anticipated to come back. Hammerhead Bridge. Not very really a map that I liked from Splatoon 1, but it was a good map. I won't lie. It's a nice map. I'm excited to see how it's changed. Mahi Mahi Resort. Does not look like it's changed at 
all, but it is a one, but it's still a fun map. A lot of suicide points that can happen on accident. There will be more areas to pain. As well as Inkla Art Academy, Sturgeon Shipyard, Makomart, and Wahoo World are all returning from Splatoon 2. So I'm very excited to see those return. They are amazing maps. I do love them a lot. Now, our new weapons. We've known about the bow, which is called the Stringer. I think that's what it was. First, it appears that all the basic weapons from previous games will be available. Which I, that I'm very happy about because my main weapon will still be here. And yes, it is called the Stringers. But my main weapon that I always use in Splatoon 2 will be returning. The Splat Dullies. Katsu, you're fixing to get timed out if you don't stop. The Splatanas. This is a new weapon that we have not seen anything about yet. They look very cool. It's basically got a new melee type class in regards with the Splat Roar and the, and the Ink Brush. Into a charged slash. As expected, it's powerful as a long range attack. But the charged slash at close Now, this. I might use this a lot during Splatfest regarding its new melee. Special weapons. I'm seeing. We've seen a lot of returning ones in regards to the Ink Strike, the Ink Zooka, Killer Whale. So many new things. Got Katsu to see your final warning. This is your final warning. Alright, I'm over this. Y'all had y'all's warning. Behave next time. The wave breaker. When activated, it'll unleash waves. Okay, let me go back because I got distracted by these people. The tactic cooler. This thing this is very new. We have not seen anything about it, but the speed boost that it gets is really good for a useful uh support special. It's a main really good support special. So take one and share the rest with your teammates. Then the wave breaker. This seems like a very, very, very unique special, should I say. The fact that it echo locates enemies and deals damage three-shotting anyone is kind of crazy. It's a, basically, in turn, it's basically a hopscotch type of special. Then the Reef Slider. This seems like my type of special. Up, forced, and aggressive gameplay. Once the attack ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. Tins and Missiles will be returning as well, which I'm happy about. Ink Jet, eh, decent. Ink Storm, very happy about. And then the Booyah Bomb. Ultra Stamp is coming back, never knew, do not know how to use it, but the Booyah Bomb, I'm very annoyed about that returning, because it is an annoying special. But it is great for applying pressure. We can also see that the Torpedo is returning, Sprinkler is coming back, there is the Triple Ink Strike, and the Suction Bomb is coming back. Seeing the grab, seeing the crab tank on the splat dualies is amazing. Splat dualies are an amazing weapon for me. So now weapons, the new weapon mechanic to get weapons is very unique. You now need Sheldon licenses, which you get from leveling up or using the same weapon consistently. Instead of using in-game currency for purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. Obtain them by leveling up through battles, and by consistently using the same weapons. One Sheldon license can be exchanged for one weapon that corresponds to your level. Oh, and just between us, if you exchange more Sheldon licenses than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like similar I also can see that the Clash Blaster will be returning, so that's fun. It's an annoying weapon. By the way, the inklings and octolings walking around town are pretty savvy about their fashion. Things like headgear, clothing, and shoes are just as important as weapons to staying fresh in Splatsville. Gear can be obtained in the shops around here. Each one is That's not safe to be sitting. I did not realize that at first. That's not safe. 
This is not couture. A headgear shop. You'll find an array of now the new NPC, the new uh, people inside the shops. I have iffy thoughts on them, especially with him, the shrimp. I do not like shrimp. Energetic nails. The snail sitting here. I do like the snail. Do you like the snail? This is the clothes boutique, Mana Wardrobe. It specializes in tops, like t-shirts and jackets. The shopkeeper, Jell Lafleur, might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. And finally, the shoe store crush. I don't. I think he's supposed to be a lobster. I don't exactly know what he is. He could be a crab. I don't know. It's owned by Mr. Coco. He might look intimidating, but deep down, he's a nice guy. Probably. You're more than welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance. But they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. Take Run Speed Up, for example. It can increase I do have a speed. set of Run Speed Up gear on Splatoon 2. And since the action, I do like the look of this because it helped because it would help going up walls and stuff a lot there faster. Are even more abilities to discover. Plus, there's a fellow in Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. Now, talk to Merch here. Merch has grown a lot since Splatoon 2. In Splatoon 2, he's just a small child. Splatoon 3 now looks to be a teenager from what it looks like, which is insane how much and he has grown. Gear as fresh as also looks like that gear sets have been, flash. are still, are returning, uh, being up the ability to save gear sets Simply and be a just short, switch them as fast as possible. Seeing that return is amazing. Welcome to the lobby. A gathering spot for those seeking fresh battles. Now, the lobby. The of course, we got turf war, regular battles. Now, battles. anarchy battles, which seem to be the new ranked mode. Hold the active zones in Good old splat zones is returning, which I'm very happy about. Tower control is going to be returning. Rainmaker is going to be returning. And fucking clam blitz is going to be returning. Now, Rainmaker is being changed, it now has checkpoints. Same with how the tower control gained checkpoints in Splatoon 2. Fuck you, Clam Blitz, you can go burn in the ditch. I hate Clam Blitz. And yes, it does look like that the tower control checkpoints will be returning. So it does look like you once again start with a C minus rank, so that is nice. And private battles, that's we're gonna be returning. Of course, you gotta have the private battles for you and your friends to just battle it out in a 1v1 or something like that. I love the I love the music for these games, man. Now Let's talk about the features within the lobby. The firing range has seen a big difference. I won't lie. Try out and get comfy with your weapons here. Besides being able to practice whenever you want, it's also a great And the fact that you can now join in to the firing range before a mat during while you're waiting for a match is amazing because that will save up just random free time. Also the ghosts. This is cool. The ability to join up a fr join into join a friend if you're just messing around in the firing range, that is really nice. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. This also gives a lot of chances for stream sniping, so I'm gonna take advantage of. <laughs> and also being able to see what you see what you and your friends are doing in the firing range together during this is amazing. I do like this new feature. This is where you can view battles. Now the lobby terminal. Being able to rewatch your battles in regards to splat fests or anything. Just if you had a good play and you want to publish it, you can now do that. Which is amazing. Or skip to a certain part. Or even swap to another player's view. Um This is just amazing just seeing this now coming to the game. But there's even a share feature. 
Ah, uh, it looks like you're now going to be able to see your death counter once again. I'm happy about that returning, because I've been wondering where that went, and it was kind of a nice feature in general. Oh, uh, so now it seems like you can now walk around in the lobby. That is nice. Now there's a locker mechanic. I'm still trying to learn what this means, but it does look really nice. As you can see, you'll be able to place any acquired weapons. We're going to take a quick pause, because there's something that I would like to share with y'all. While we're doing this, go check out good old Velo City on YouTube. They are currently streaming a watch along for a Nisu John for a Nisu Johnny concert. Go check them out. Um, they're a great team of people. Uh, great people. Also, we just got. Also, I got Funky Friday week. What is this? Okay, I don't know what that is. But they are a great group of people. And just go show them all the love and support that you can. I'm really hoping. I'm 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 really willing to try to help them get to 100,000 subscribers. They will be hopefully doing a reaction video to one of my videos that I specifically recorded for them. It is not uploaded on my channel yet, and it will not be uploaded on my channel. If you want to check out the video, you have to go check out their reaction over on their channel. I do not know when they will be re uploading the rea the reaction to it, but it will be hopefully soon. I've already sent them the video, so they should be ready with it. But if you want to check out that video that I made, you have to go over to their channel to see it. I will not be uploading it on my channel. Don't even start again. I will time you out. You, I'm timing out no matter what. You can go away. Y'all get timed out again. I'm serious. Do not test my limits. Y'all either be timed out or y'all will be put in permanent timeout on this channel. Don't test me. Do not test me. Do not test me when it comes to this type of crap. Gear and items to your liking. Slap on some snazzy stickers and modify your locker's color. This is your space to express yourself. So custom. I do not tolerate spam in my chat. Signature slatting style. Oh yes, items can be obtained at Hotlantis. A general store on the edge of Splatsville. Apparently, the store manager vanishes quite often. So instead, it's run by an artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. It's got an outlandish assortment of items. Why not show the store some love by grabbing some goods? There appear to be plenty of other customization features as well. When battles start, these splash tags appear. They can be I do like this new mechanic, the splash tags. It lets you show off how you like to play and how you are as a type of person. It's really nice. Additionally, you can change the emote your character performs when you win a battle. I do like this emote stuff. All of these can be obtained via the in-game catalog, which will be available at Hotlantis. By using I do not like the fact that they're adding a dab. Well, like somewhat. For splash tags and seasonal gear. I do like this. Launch, a new catalog is planned to be released every three months for two years. Every three because months we're getting new items in the catalog, catalog with an update, which is amazing. Also, thank you all so much for seven concurrent viewers currently. Sure. There's still a lot of info to share, but I need to take a little breather here. In the meantime, please turn your attention toward this. Now, this. I will skip because I will skip this because it is something that I'm not going to be allowed to show. So, I'm going to have to skip it. 
Salmon Run. I'm very excited for the new Salmon Run that we are getting the next wave. Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the salmon eggs advancing on them. This part-time gig is rumored to be a little fishy, but it pays pretty well. By this Salmon Run is always a fun, fun game mode. Great for getting drink tickets, food tickets, to get bonuses for your gold and XP. The boss salmonoids, we've got a lot of returning boss salmonoids and some new boss salmonoids. The slammin' lid. It creates barriers and protects salmonids on the ground. Get too close to it. I think this is a very unique type of boss. It will be a very easy boss to deal with, but Indian wants unique. This guy. Next, the big shot. It fires heavy projectiles from a distance. Be prepared for powerful shock waves when they land. With new boss salmonids confirmed, make sure you're ready for an even more dangerous salmon run. Now, in regards to when salmon run is over. Good, that's the last of them. Now get in the chopper and head back. Emergency. There is now a final extra wave at the end of Salmon Run to, to fight a King Salmonoid. The tank on your back is a specially provided egg cannon, and it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. However, these battles are under a time limit. So rack up as much damage as possible to drive them back. Also this, the big run. And this, this is the still being researched big run. We believe this is when salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. It appears that this event happens once every few months. So race yourselves! Big run is coming! The big run seems very interesting, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research now, on it. Observe this manhole and now, Captain Cuttlefish is returning from Splatoon 1. We have not seen him in a while. We saw him in the Octo expansion for Splatoon 2, but he didn't really get much action. Now, Agent 3 is coming back. I am very happy about this. Agent 3 is one of the just OG members of the squad. Along with your buddy Small Fry. Now, the small fry is very cute. I do love this. I, and I love the fact that he's useful in this. Oh, I almost forgot. Story mode is perfect for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. Now, I do like that special. And I do like the crab special as well. The crab special is very nice. It might become one of my new main specials, but who knows? Also, Octavio is coming back as well. Now, whoa, I did not realize that, that Captain Cuttlefish got taken down by a tentacle. I did not notice We're that at first. From here on out, we'd like to talk about other features that'll help you enjoy your splatting escapades even more in the Splatoon 3 game. You can post illustrations here via the course, mailbox. the mailbox will be returning to post They'll just customization, custom bleh, customizations that you want to create, like photos Put and stuff like that. Post away. Vertical illustrations will also be supported. Additionally, you can grab food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. Or use local communication to play- The show is also returning. I do like the fact that the show is returning. By using photo mode- Photo mode also looks very nice. Send photos to a smart device. Or display them in your locker. This is the recon guide. So now this, I do like. I do like the fact that you can now recon to any map without having to be on the rotation. Helps, it will help to be able for you to get used to the new maps and old maps that are returning and have been revamped. This is Splatnet 3. Now, the, 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 this is their mobile app. I'm going to have to skip this because I am I am not sponsored by Nintendo, so I'm going to have to skip it. Of course, amiibos are returning and the ability to save amiibos. 
a safe house to amiibos is very nice. I do take full advantage of this. I do. I, I, I have iffy decisions on the dab. Now, the Splatoon 3 amiibos I will be most definitely buying when they come out. They look amazing. Updates. Now some updates that we'll be receiving, we're getting some sneak peeks! Of course we're gonna be having some new weapons coming to the game with each update. Now what? So we're gonna be getting new catalog stuff every three months for two years. New weapons will also be added around the same time as each catalog. Yep. In addition, X Battle. Available after attaining an extremely high rank in Anarchy Battle and League Battle, where every two hours you can compete in teams based on. Now, good old League is coming back. I've actually never played League because I don't have really much friends to actively play between with, but I do have friends that I play between with. But not active friends, should I say, every once in a while. Now, a large scale paid DLC. If I do manage to be able to figure out a way how to do streams between 3, do expect some DLC streams. Do expect some streams of the DLC. I will be doing a lot of that. And we'll be most likely speed running the DLC, completing it as fast as possible, hopefully in one stream. Now, the new idols of Splatoon 3. Deep cut. Oh, Squid. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly popular trio who host the Splatoon. Now, this is our first trio in the Splatoon Idols. They provide information on battle stages, as well as other news bulletins. While we're on the subject, the youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. They can check the news while doing other activities, as shown here. And... Chorus, good old Splatfest will be returning! I do like the Splatfest-themed Splatsville area. It looks very, very nice. I do also like the fact that they will be moving around the moving around the area. This is very cool. And then there are three things connect and they are all together during this as well, which is very cool. It's been confirmed that Splatfest will make a return. In these also, events, you pick a team based on the announcement. Macarena is in Splatoon 3. <laughs> and, battle. and this time around. But now we have three teams in Splatfest instead of the normal two. Splatfests consist of two halves. In the first half, 
teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. So, round one of Splatfest is normal, two teams, but round two is all three teams battling at once. The winning team will be starting in the middle, two on both sides of the map, and then, then there will be two members from each other team on the other side of the map trying to compete. Will start in the center of the stage. Two players each from the second and third place teams will attack the first place team from opposite ends of the stage. Can the leading team defend themselves, or will the other two teams exact revenge and force them out? Use the ultra signal to control the battle and contribute to the Splatfest while working alongside the members of Deep Cut. Okay, we're going to close out this presentation with an announcement from Deep Cut. Take it away! But this is very cool looking, I will not lie. And of course, we're starting Splatoon 3 with a world premiere Splatfest, starting on the 27th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard. Of course, I'm going to be playing in this world premiere, so be on the lookout for me. I'll be on my casual account, not my competitive account, but I will be on my casual account going off of my nickname. Here's Splatfest team, Rock, Paper, Scissors. I'll be most likely joining the Scissors team because in general it is red, the colored red, the color of blood, should I say. Expect to see me at PAX East, boys. September 5th at PAX West. Some of the top finishers from this summer's Splatoon 2 Inkopolis Showdown will head to Seattle and compete in North America's first ever Splatoon 3 Invitational. Follow this I will be hopefully Nintendo participating in if my teams, if my teams get chosen for it. Since I did win round one and round two of this tournament North with my friends, of course. We hope you'll have an incredible time starting September 9th. Bye bye. But thank you guys so much for watching today's stream. I know it was a little short one, but I just wanted to share this new information that we received. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Samson Gamer, and I will hope, hopefully, will be most definitely seeing y'all on the weekend. With streams starting back up finally. This is just the beginning, boys. Peace.